total gift, but um, but we managed to do it, and like um, I think that uh, I think we're on track to be like a pretty you know like affordable like <laughs> successful show, that, like everybody's gonna be happy. Marshall, uh, the um. You touched on the difficult times in the industry, and you know, difficult times economically overall mm -hmm. in your country. Uh, it seems there might be a temptation to be conservative, uh, greenlighting projects that mm -hmm. uh, studios would know would work or networks would know would work. Uh, why do you think it is that that we managed to to make it in um, in a tough environment? I don't know, but I think I think part of the appeal was precisely that it came in sort of a tough environment. That like there, um, you know, and it's it's easy to pick on like procedurals or whatever. And like the, it's TV's a whole smorgasbord. Well, that's what's wonderful about it. There's a million things, but like there, you know, there is a show on television that's like about rape. It's literally a show like about rape. And you're like, well, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's just in the context of that. Um, that I think sometimes again, like I think it's just like the the, the clouds can kind of clear and allow for um, allow for something different. And I, I again I really really credit like Fox and like um, both the studio and the network for having the foresight because it wouldn't I, I I don't again I'm not some kind of like television sage, but like I don't know of another like studio or network that would have made that that chance. It, I don't and I don't know whether it was just foresight on the part of certain individuals or whether it was fitting brand or a mix or it was something that it's just it was it was very, very fortuitous. And then to to kind of hit at a right time when there was just I don't know whether it was just we kind of had enough of the bad news, but it was just like let's think about it for a second. Um, and it's a surprise for me, I'm as I'm as cynical an American as like you'll find and like um, I wouldn't have expected it to like um, to, to hit people the way it does, and it, and it it does, which is weird. Again, like I I um, I've always had such a I always have had such a cynical like relationship with like glee clubs, like in my own life. Like when I was in a high school, like it was like it took up a lot of time, and like um, I had like terrible haircut, and, like, it was sort of embarrassing. But like there there's something about it that like. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's sort of a, a mystery. Like it just, it just hit. I don't. I don't know that. Like, I, I don't think it could predict, be predicted. I don't think you could do it again if we tried. Like it just like helped. We had help from like cold Western culture for like a second or something. We'll see. Uh, whatever. I mean, it's all really haughty. I hate talking about it. Like it is like <coughs> we are in the end like just telling stories and just making a TV show. It's just like we. Be, um, it is neat to, to have felt in your own little way to sort of push the envelope a little bit or just push the boundaries and be like, wow, this is, um, and and really like score, put, rack one up for television, which is like a, a, a unique medium in the way it tells stories and like the, um, the way you get attached to characters that you don't in feature films or whatever. It's more like, it's, it's like reading a series of books. It's like a, um, there's something really, uh, it's a real gift to be able to then like work within that context of kind of like um, to take a journey with like an audience. But um, that's a real like, surprise for me. Well, two more questions. The very back. Hi. Um, it's kind of a two-part, but it's quick. Um, your guest stars, you know, you've had uh, Neil Patrick Harris on last year, which is amazing, mm -hmm. very funny. Um, and you have this one with Leona Lewis coming on. Uh, uh, who? Uh, Leona Lewis. But you know, are you hoping to get more guest stars, or are you kind of you have to watch yourself that you don't become? And as much as I love Thirty Rock, if you kind of have to kind of crack some time with the guest stars. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I. Whatever. I think all television shows should probably be <laughs> more like Thirty Rock Red than less, but like. Uh, but I get what you're saying. You don't want it to be a love boat, and like, <laughs> you know, we said that from the beginning. And so it's always like made, uh, and it is hard. It's hard when they have like people call you up, and like I really want to be on the show, and you're like that's amazing. Like I don't know how we would do that. Like that, what would you be doing in Lima, Ohio? But like, <laughs> but you, yeah, it's, it's. I, I guess it's just we'll know that as we go. We of course want to, and we have hilarious, hilarious, awesome people who I'm not sure they're totally close, so I can't mention them. Like we have awesome like, people coming up. Like it's just gonna be like awesome.
cast members that are hilarious and like that. That I mean, one of them that like they agreed to come do it is so fantastic. So like, it, we'll just know case by case, and then um, and you see what works, like and, and see what plays well in the story and what like really hits them. Not one person you can. <coughs> <think that's laughs> um. Go on. <laughs> 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 you can do it. I don't think I can. Sadly. Sorry. So the the most of this stuff will be settled pretty soon, and it's like you'll maybe you'll know what I'm talking. About. Anyway, so so uh, you were in Glee Club. Uh, it, there seems to be sort of a revival these days. How do you think Glee sort of uh, refocused educators to sort of put an emphasis on the arts in school? Well, I hope it did, and like we've heard some, you know, like rhetorically some stories of just people being like, you know, like we had some cutbacks at like our school and like the one thing they won't touch is like the glee club. Which is so weird. I mean it's such the snake eating its own tail. It's ridiculous. Like I, I don't even know how I feel about that. It's so amazing and like really weird and like um but like yeah like I I hope it does. And I hope it I hope it isn't reserved for like music too. Like I from I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for like um being in plays, like an active like theater department in my school. And also, too, another thing is like I, I always forget to mention this, like I'm one hundred percent a product of like the uh, like American public school system and like I, like the show would not exist if it weren't for like arts education. So like literally like, quite literally, like in the most plain way, like this is very much like a logical endpoint of like my education that started in like Mount Prospect, Illinois. Like it was just like this like Public schools and like my mom taught at parochial school. Like public schools, we were like, no, you're going to public school. And like it was, um, admittedly well funded, like from from pretty like affluent suburban area outside of Chicago. But like still, it was like so people not working for a ton of money and not a lot of huge budgets or whatever. But like, um, public education works. Like it certainly did for me. And like, um, you know, my sister is a teacher and um, on the south side of Chicago, and very like underserved area of Chicago and like she's um I, I just hope that like it really it does do that. Like it seems um you know, you don't want to see any programs cut or whatever at any time. It's just like it it's just it seems like such the wrong thing. You're like don't literally like don't cut that stuff. Like that is um I, I wouldn't be here. I'd probably be a, a like a awesome veterinarian in, in like <laughs> Chicago or something, but I wouldn't be here and this is what they have. Like that. Yeah. Good answer to the question. Thank you very much, guys. You want